So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can add a calendar into Notion. So I'm actually going to be showing you two different ways that you can add the calendar. The first is this one. Um, this is a native Notion feature. So there is a calendar block in Notion where you can create an interactive calendar like this one. Um, and the other way that I'm going to show you is this one, which is actually a Google calendar. So if you already have a Google calendar set up, um, then you can actually use a widget to be able to pull through your Google calendar into Notion. The only downside to this one is that you can't actually add any events or tasks directly from Notion onto the Google Calendar. Um, you would still need to go over to your actual Google Calendar to add events, but it would pull through um, anything that has been added to your calendar on this Notion view. Um, so it's still pretty useful. So I'm going to start off by showing you how to create this interactive Notion calendar because this one works within Notion and you can actually add events to it directly from Notion. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is type in forward slash calendar and click on this calendar view block. So the first thing it's going to do is ask you what data source you want to use. So in this case, we're going to create a brand new database. So I'm just going to click on new database. So that will then bring up this calendar view. So I'm just going to start by giving it a name. I'm just going to call it calendar and then I'm just going to hide the database title. So Notion will automatically bring this up in a monthly view, but if you would prefer, say, a weekly view, you can change it if you click on these three dots, click on layout, and here under show calendar as, you can select week if you prefer to show it as a week like this. I think for this example, I'm just going to keep it as a monthly view. So to add something to the calendar, you just want to hover over the date that you want to add something to and click on this little plus icon. That will then bring up a sub page like this. So you start by giving it a title. So let's just say I'm having dinner with friends and it will automatically bring up this date box with the current date. So if you did click on the wrong date by mistake, you can click on here and change it to a different date. Next, I'm just going to delete this default tags property just by clicking the delete property button. And I am just going to add one more property. So I'm going to click add a property. I'm going to type in text and click on a text property. And I'm going to rename it to time. So I want a way to be able to write in what time my event or task is going to take place. Currently, Notion doesn't have a time property. So I'm just going to use the text box instead. Um, and just in here, I'm just going to type in what time this task takes place. So I'm just going to write 8 p.m. as an example. I'm just going to click back onto the main view. So as you can see, that event has now been added to our calendar, but I do also want to be able to see the time that is going to take place. So if I click these three little dots again and click on properties, this will show all of the properties that are currently hidden from the view. So on the time one, I'm just going to click this little button here and that will make it unhidden. So as you can see, it's now got the time on here as well, which is perfect. So I'm just going to add another event just to show you how it works. So let's just say on this day, I have a yoga class. And I'm going to put the time as 3 p.m. If I just click back onto the calendar, as you can see, that's now added. So it's really quick and easy to add things to your calendar. You just click on the little plus icon and just fill in the details. It's also really easy to navigate through the calendar. So you can use these little arrows up here just to navigate between different months. And that's essentially it. It is a very simple calendar. So really quick and easy to set up. So now let's move on to how you can embed your Google Calendar. So the first thing that you'll want to do is head over to this website, Indify.co. Um, so Indify essentially just create various Notion widgets. It's completely free, um, but you do just need to sign up. So if you just put in your email address here or sign up with your Google account, um, I'm just going to use the Google account option. Okay, and then once you're signed in, you just want to scroll down and under volume one, you can just click on this little Google calendar widget here. So just click create widget. And firstly, it's going to ask you to give it a name. So I'm just going to call it calendar and click continue. So that will then bring you over to the editor. So the first thing you need to do is link up your Google account. Even if you did sign in with your Google account, you still need to connect it again here. So essentially, this is just going to give Indify access to your Google calendar. Um, so I'm just going to click sign in with Google um, to do that. So once you've given them access to your calendar, you will see this window. So you can just close this off and go back to the main Indify tab. So back over in the editor, if you just give it a couple of seconds, it will update and you should see your Google calendar here. So you can make some amendments to the widget. There are a lot of different settings here. Some of them are premium, so you would have to have the pro plan. Um, I'm just going to focus on the ones that are free because I just use the free plan. Um, but you can still use the widget without being on the pro plan. You just can't make as many amendments to the settings. Um, so the first one is the default view. So it will come up with a monthly view. You can change it to a weekly view or a day view. Um, I think I'm just going to keep it as the monthly view. But it's worth knowing that you can flick between the different views 
views within the actual widget on Notion. So it doesn't really matter which one you pick here. You can still view the other ones in Notion. So I'm just going to scroll past these ones because these are all the premium features. Down here we have another couple of features. So the first one is you can select for the week to start on Monday. So as you can see, currently the week starts on Sunday. So I think I'm going to toggle that one on because I, I would prefer my calendar to start on Monday. Um, you can also hide the view selector. So this is the view selector here. It's just where you can pick between the monthly, weekly or the day view. Um, if you don't really think you'll use that feature, you can switch it off. So as you can see, it's now disappeared. But I think I'm going to keep it because it's quite nice to be able to flip between the different views. Um, and then this little toggle here is the 24 hour time format. So if you prefer to see your times with the 24 hour clock, um, you can switch this on. But I think I'm going to leave it off for now. Then if I just scroll down, there are quite a few different styling options. Um, so the first one is showing borders on your events. So these little blue boxes are your events or your tasks. So if I toggle that on, it will just put a black border around the events. So again, that's up to you depending on the style that you prefer. I think I'm going to keep it switched off. Uh, you can also change the color here if you'd prefer a different color. You can also add a background color to the widget. So if I just toggle this on, it will allow me to change some of the colors. So I can add a background color. I can do a border color. I can also change the color of the text on here. Um, so just to show you how it would look, I'll just pick a pink color as the background. So you can really play around with the colors to find something that would suit your Notion theme. Um, I think I'm just going to keep it as white for this example. And the last option is to either show the hover menu or not. So essentially what this is, is when the widget is embedded into Notion, if you hover over it, a little menu will appear where you can customize a few things on the widget. Um, so it's up to you if you prefer to have that either on or off. I think I'm just going to leave it switched on. And then once you're happy with the look of your widget, you can click on this little clipboard icon here and that will copy the link to the widget to your clipboard. Okay, and then back over in Notion, I'm just going to type in forward slash embed and click on this embed block. I'm just going to paste in the link and click embed link. And if you just give it a couple of seconds, that will load your widget. So it does come up very small. So I'm just going to pull on these bars on the side just to make it a bit bigger. And I'll just pull this down as well, just so you can see the whole thing. And there is the widget. So as I said, you can't actually add anything to the calendar from Notion, but it will update anything that you do add to your Google Calendar. You can also use these little buttons here to flick between the month, the week and the day view. Um, and these little arrows will allow you to flick between the different months. So I do just briefly want to show you um, what happens when you add something to your Google Calendar. Um, so as I said, it will update the Notion widget, um, but you do have to refresh the page um, for it to update. So I'm just going to show you how to do that now. OK, so here we are over on my actual Google Calendar. So I'm just going to add another event just so that we can see how this will look. So I'm just going to click on create and add a new event. Um, let's just say that I have a dentist appointment. And I'm just going to select the 26th because we don't have anything currently on that day. And I'll just select 11.30. Maybe not p.m. That's a little bit late for a dentist appointment. Let's put 12 p.m. Okay. So as you can see now on the 26th, we now have added this new dentist appointment. So back over in Notion, so as you can see currently on the 26th, nothing has shown up. Um, so what I'm going to do is just refresh the page to see if it now shows up. Okay, so I've just refreshed the page. So as you can see, the dentist appointment on the 26th has now appeared. Um, so it's a little bit annoying that it doesn't just directly update. You do have to refresh the page, uh, but it is still functional. And that is it. So that's how you can add a calendar into Notion. If you did find this video useful, please like and subscribe to the channel. And you can also check out my pre-made Notion templates on Etsy. The link will be in the description box below.